Bonjour tout le monde. Bienvenue à mon chaîne. Aujourd'hui, nous allons apprendre le verbe avoir et être. Welcome everybody. Today we are going to learn two verbs avoir, to have, and être, to be. These two verbs are very important because when you don't know them, then your French is limited and you can never be able to express yourself fully in French. Uh, and these two verbs are known as auxiliary verbs, helping verbs. Les verbes auxiliaires. Les verbes auxiliaires. These two verbs, avoir and être, they help you to speak in the past. So you must just know them. We are going to conjugate the verbs and uh, you may ask yourself, now what does she mean by conjugate? Conjugating a verb simply means putting that verb in different forms using the subject pronouns. If you don't know what I mean by subject pronouns in French, les pronoms sujet, I have a link in the description to my video on les pronoms sujet. Subject pronouns, uh, for example, he is a subject pronoun. I is a subject pronoun. She is a subject pronoun. So the verb avoir, which means to have, usually in English, when you have to conjugate it, it becomes I have, you have, he has, she has, and the rest. It is very simple. It is not so much detailed. But in French, avoir, conjugating avoir, it takes a different format. When we use the subject pronouns, and we are going to start with I, which is Jo, conjugated with avoir, if you want to say I have, it becomes je. Repeat after me, je, tu as, tu as means you have, tu as, the singular, you in singular, tu as, il a. Il a, he has, he has, elle a, elle a, she has, she has, vous avez, vous avez, vous avez is you have, when you are many, plural, and the most formal way of saying you is vous, now when you want to say you have, in plural, you say vous avez, then we have nous avons. Nous avons is the plural of is the plural form of saying we have. We when you are many we have nous avons. Nous avons and because nous ends with a s which is a consonant and avons begins with an a which is a vowel. We call that la liaison. Now we connect S and A and say nous avons. And not nous avons. No. We say nous avons. We call it la liaison. Now we say nous avons. We have. Or you can say on a. On a. We have in singular. Or on a. One has. One has. On a. Elles ont, elles ont, they have, if there are many females, elles ont, elles ont, ils ont, ils ont, we also use la liaison here because of the consonant vowel ending and the beginning of a word, so it becomes ils ont, they have, if there are many males. Now I'm going to give you examples of using I avoir in a sentence. If you want to say I have a pen, I have a pen, that will be I have is je, je, and a pen is un stylo, un stylo. So the sentence is je un stylo, je un stylo. Uh -huh. Nous avons do Sor. Nous avons do sort. Nous avons is we have. Do is number two. 
and sœurs are sisters. Nous avons deux sœurs. We have two sisters. Nous avons deux sœurs. Mm -hmm. If you want to say, uh, I have a phone. I have is, je, je. Now the sentence become, je une téléphone. Je une téléphone. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to tell me what this means. Nous avons. Nous avons. Correct. We have. We have. What about elle a? Elle a. Elle a means she has. Now we are going to the verb être. Être mean, meaning to be. In, in English, it is simply I am, you are. She is and the rest very simple in French. It is not it is not difficult. It is it is not difficult by the way. I am becomes je suis je suis you are tu es tu es tu es he is he is Il est, il est. Notice the difference in the spelling of tu es and il est. The pronunciation of er is the same, but the spelling is not the same. Tu does not have a, tu er does not have a t after, but il est has a t. Il est, e s t, il est. Elle est the same thing. She is, elle est. On est, on est can mean one is. One is, but it can also mean we are, we are on a. Nous sommes, nous sommes, nous sommes mean we are, we are the most formal way of saying we, we are, nous sommes, vous êtes, vous êtes, vous êtes means you are in plural, you are, you, you are many, so. Vous êtes, vous êtes, you are. Uh -huh. Elles ont, elles ont, elles ont, they are, if there are many females, they are, elles ont, elles ont. And then finally, ils ont. Ils ont means they are many, they are, in plural, many, many males, ils ont. They are. Now I'm going to give you examples of using conjugated form of être in a sentence. For example, you want to say, I am tired. I am tired. I am is je suis. So it becomes je suis fatigué. Je suis fatigué. Mm -hmm. Je suis fatigué. Uh, how about we are four in our family? How do you say that we are four in our family? Nous sommes quatre dans notre famille. Nous sommes quatre dans notre famille. We are four in our family. Nous sommes quatre dans notre famille. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what about if you want to say... He is happy. He is happy. Il est content. Il est content. Il est content. He is happy. Now, please repeat after me what you have learned today. Conjugation of avoir and être. Uh, please. These ones are just, they don't have a formula of mastering them or a specific way of knowing them. You just have to master them by heart, I'm afraid, but they are not complicated. Knowing these two verbs are very essential for your French. They help you to speak in the past and they will help you to express yourself more fully. And confidently so if you have any questions leave them in the comment or any recommendations for my next video and for now 
revoir.